Hello everyone and welcome again to the channel. Today we're going to continue this series of the videos on how to make a proper financial model for a renewable energy project. But before we get started, make sure you subscribe to the channel and give a thumbs up if you like it. Let's get started. So here is where we last stop. Okay, so basically what we have in here, we have a fully flexible dynamic timeline with the main structure for our cash flows calculation, okay? And we have the main inputs for financial model here. Before we start populating the, the formulas here in the calculation sheets, let's gonna just discuss a little bit how the calculation sheet works and what are, what is the best practice for populating it, okay? So again, what do we have here? We have our calculation divided in four, di in four different frames, okay? The first frame, basically what you can see here is when the construction and operation dates start and finish. Okay, that's basically what we can have, we have in here. And on the right side, on the up right side here, what we have is basically the dynamic timeline. So whenever we change any of the inputs that change the timelines or the, or the length of the period, okay, as we have in here. So let's say we're going to change this for construction period is going to be two quarters and I'm going to have one quarter. Let's keep one quarter for now for the intervals between each one and as you can see here we have only two periods now and if we come back here and change it for four what we're going to have we're going to have essentially four periods now for the construction okay and as we scroll down we can still keep this because we just froze the panels right here okay and that's the place exactly where you want to freeze your panels okay just below the first uh period okay where you start your calculations so that's the first thing then here on the, on the left side, what we have here, the left bottom side, what we have is basically the name for each one of the rows. Okay, so we name rows. Okay, so clearly here in this row, here we're going to have the capex, here we're going to have the upfront fee amount, the debt closing costs, and so forth and so on with the units. Okay, and of course, whenever we have to bring some value somewhere else in the model, we're going to just add these things in this particular column in here. Okay, so that's what we have. Then we have here uh, the sum. Okay, so we're going to add everything that goes for the calculation and the calculation for each one of the periods essentially starts on this column here column i okay so what are we going to have here is going to have like the same formulas okay everything here is going to be based on formulas there's going to be no inputs okay so that's another best practice okay all your inputs should be in the input sheet okay not in here so here just bring values and make calculations okay and everything calculation here on this frame here should always be the same okay so essentially the only thing we're going to do uh, let's say here we're going to have a number this is forty thousand okay forty thousand okay so essentially what we want to say here we're going to say this is equals this times this okay and i just cop we're going to first we're going to uh, anchor we're going to discuss what anchor is so we're going to anchor and just cop things across okay so what we have here then is that every single cell does not have the same formula but it has the same rationale okay so the same logic behind it okay so we're multiplying a number on the left frame to a number or something above or below it okay in this particular case here we're multiplying a number with the flag for operations okay and then we get the uh, desired result so the second the second thing i want to discuss is the importance of like uh anchoring things appropriately okay and there's a little trick here that i always use to to uh, anchor cells okay so let's go back here to the cell here and as you notice here there's an anchor in here okay i'm anchoring uh f10 to be in here and how i did it let me do it again so whenever i do a formula i press you click on the form on the cell you want to refer back and if you prayer and if you press f4 once we're gonna anchor you can see like this two dollar sign just pops up in there okay what that means is that you're anchoring the column to be on column f and the row to be in row 10 okay so if now i just copy and paste this here what i'm going to have i'm still going to have the reference back there okay and if i copy paste this here we're still referenced back to that particular cell there but there are a few other ways you can anchor stuff okay you can anchor uh, cells another way is to press f2 and if you press uh let me do it, read it again so let's say equals f10 okay and if i press f4 twice what happens now is you only have the dollar sign attached to the number okay to the row number so what that means is that if you now copy this and paste here uh let me see yeah you copy and paste here is still fixing everything back to row 10 but now if you copy this here and paste sorry and paste this uh here 
Now what happens, you kept your reference to the row number 10, but you just moved over to column K, okay? So that's the difference. And if you come over here and press F4 three times, in this case it's one time because I already pressed it twice, we're gonna change the dollar sign to be only attached to the column, okay? So now if you press enter here and I copy and paste this below, what we're gonna have here, it's, oops, sorry, let me just copy and paste this here. So now I'm no longer uh, anchoring the row number. So every time I copy and paste below, it's gonna move below, okay? But if I copy and paste, to the side, I'm going to still anchor my reference to the same column that I had before. In this case here, column D. So what is the trick here? The trick is very simple, okay? Let's go back here and do this formula for the total production, okay? So I want to do the total production, okay? And as we said, it's going to be equal to this number here, or this cell times this one here, okay? So the trick is whenever you have to reference cells to the left, you're going to go to the cell and press F4 three times, okay? Because then I only anchoring to the column, okay? And whenever, whenever you have to anchor uh, a reference to cell above or below your model, okay, you're gonna go there and press a four twice, okay? Like in this way, when you copy, sorry, in this way, when you copy and paste things across, because that's the only thing you're gonna do here, okay, you're always gonna copy and paste things across, you're gonna keep the correct reference, okay, as you can see here, right? So let's say now I wanna calculate, uh, let me see here another one, the revenue, okay? So let's say the revenue is going to be like $60 per uh, megawatt hour, okay? What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna grab this number here, I'm gonna press F4 twice, and I'm gonna multiply by the total production, and I'm gonna press F4 once, but sorry, twice. Ah, uh, sorry, let me redo it. I'm gonna come here, reference here, we're gonna press F4 three times here, Okay, and then I'm going to go up and I'm going to press a four twice in here. And as I copy and paste things across, what we're going to have here, we're going to have the right reference to the right cells. Okay, and as you can see here, because this is the revenue row, okay, essentially we're going to have revenue whenever we start our operation. Okay, so that's what we have here. So that's it for today. I hope you have enjoyed. Please subscribe to the channel, give a thumbs up, and I'll see you in the next video.